The St. Lucia Labour Party wants the findings of a forensic audit into two road projects made public. The audit conducted by the Ministry of Transport was investigating corruption on road development projects 001 and 002. These projects are one of 10 points of reference for a commission of inquiry appointed to investigate the former SLP administration. The audit was supposed to prove or disprove the allegations. If the allegations are true, then the audit must identify the persons involved, support the findings with evidence, and present such evidence in an acceptable format in any subsequent criminal proceedings. The findings of this audit remains a secret while the government proceeds to a commission of inquiry. A commission of inquiry cannot do what a forensic audit Failed to do. SLP political leader Dr. Kenny Anthony says the appointment of the inquiry without disclosure of the forensic audit shows the true motive of the government. For him, the government is motivated by a need to politically lynch his party. We hold the view that this commission is more about witch hunting and political lynching rather than the establishment of transparency, accountability and maintenance of appropriate standards in public life. We also believe that its timing is deliberately intended to distract St. Lucians from the gross deficiencies of this government in dealing with the pressing problems facing our people. Despite its misgivings, the SLP intends to cooperate with the inquiry as long as five conditions are met. These include the right to cross-examine witnesses and public broadcast of the commission's sittings on radio and television. If these are not met, there are options the party intends to pursue. There are parliament, parliamentary questions that are available. Then, too, there is always a court. Um, then, too, there is always um, public activity, public protest. You have a range of options um, available to you. Then there's also the broader question of cooperation. So, very clearly, we will choose the right option to suit the circumstance. The SLP political leader is also calling on the Prime Minister to disclose what the commission will cost taxpayers. Already, the forensic audit carried a price tag of $300,000. The overall amount which the government has allocated to this exercise, two, the agreed rates of compensation for each commissioner and the counsel to the commission, and three, the cost of providing accommodation and subsistence to the commissioners and their counsel. If Prime Minister King ignores disclosure on this matter and refuses to release the forensic audit, then the deceptive intent of the United Workers' Party will be exposed and the St. Lucia Labour Party will have no choice but to pursue other options at its disposal. The Commission of Inquiry will be held from February 25th to March 12th. It is a three-member body that will be chaired by Antiguan Sufent and Ram Sahoy. Announcement of the Commission was made public by an extraordinary issue of the Gazette on Friday. Carmi Joseph, HTS News, Channel 4.